Remind me again why we're here. Bishop said it had something to do with the fate of the world. Bishop said a lot of things back in our time. Like, turtles, feel my wrath. And, gee, wouldn't it be nice to dissect some mutant turtles? And, I'll get you turtles if it's the last thing I do. We remember, Mikey, but in 2105, Bishop's president of the Galactic Council. We have to at least hear him out. Yeah, well, I don't see why. It's not like I voted for the guy. Gentlemen, thank you for coming. You can save the formalities, Mr. President. What's going on, Bishop? An extremely sensitive matter has arisen, and despite our checkered past, you are the only ones I can turn to. Something is trying to destroy me. Destroy you? Who? You mean who wouldn't? You said this had something to do with the fate of the world. If I go, the Galactic Alliance will crumble. Earth will be at war with two dozen alien races, destroying all of humanity. You want some fries with that ego? What about your security force? This particular threat is somewhat out of their pay grade, if you get my meaning. to recognize the green gentleman accompanying President Bishop? Recognize that? Recess! I take it that's the monster that's trying to get you? What gave it away? Renicops are tongue-tied! We have to get these people to safety! Way ahead of you! Let's house train this puppy! Whoa! Who took out my batteries? This is Alliance Headquarters. All your weapons were deactivated when you went through security. So we gotta handle this thing 21st century style? No problem. Mikey, elevator! Please exit in a calm and orderly manner. Or a get the shell out of here, manna! Nine point five, Raph. Nice dismount, but dude, you gotta stick those landings. I got an idea. Hey, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Drooling. Toto, Toto. If cartoons taught me anything, this has to work! Does he know what he's doing? Does he ever? That's right, One-Eye! Come to Mikey! Ah! Stay away from Mikey! Stay away! Huh? Anytime you're ready to actually help, gentlemen. Lights out! 
What was that thing? A genetically mutated engine of destruction, forged from the DNA of alien species. How do you know that? Because I made it. You want to run that by me again? I think my ears were clogged with monster spit. I helped make that creature. Aren't you out of the bad guy business? I am. This goes back decades. I had no idea they survived. Whoa! Rewind and replay! They? Fangface has friends? <laughs> we'll take that as a yes. I've got a hover car outside. Let's move. Calling all hover cars! We have a distress alarm at the Galactic Alliance headquarters! Things seem to be all right. Uh, oh, Mr. President! What an honor! Is everything all right? Try asking that guy! Uh, you're under arrest? Why did it stop to mess with the peacekeepers? Escape first! Geek out later! Next time, try picking on someone your own species! Bad news! This one's super athletic! Hold on! I think we lost him. Think again! Good! Well, at least the power's back on. Warning! You have lost navigational control. Now connecting with other car customer support. Please hold. The President of the Galactic Council does not hold. <laughs> Looks like we scared him off! No, it's just smarter than it looks. Buckle up! Look out! Ah. Glad to see after a hundred years, you still know how to smash stuff, Bish! Hurry, these creatures are tenacious. No! Bishop! to go into the big, scary, turtle-eating monster hole first! I don't believe it. 100 years into the future, and we're still crawling around in the sewers. It looks like the trail ends here. Well, that ugly didn't just fall off the face of the Earth, Big Brain. <laughs> okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Check this out. A force field. Maybe we can power up our weapons and... Incinerate yourselves. It's an accelerated neutrino armor grid. Energy from your weapons will only be repelled back to the source. How do you know that? Let me guess. Had a free weekend after you whipped up those chompy things, so you decided to bang out some more supervillain type stuff. My technology, yes. But I'm not the brain's... Or should I say, brain behind this place? Then who is? What's going on here, Bishop? Seeing as we have some time to kill, I may as well tell you the whole story. Fifty years ago, the Earth was a different place. And I, well, you know what I was. An alien-hating, xenophobic megalomaniac? Wrath. A myriad of alien life forms had identified the Earth as habitable. We were under the constant threat of invasion. My Earth Protection Force was the only line of defense. This lab was the nerve center of my operation, where the secrets of extraterrestrial DNA could be uncovered and exploited. 
Our goal was to splice alien DNA to create an invincible army if war were to break out against the aliens. Despite my considerable scientific prowess, I needed help. Fortunately, I was able to convince one of the world's greatest minds to work under my aegis. Dr. Baxter Stockman. The alien DNA is mutating nicely. I've been calling them organic mousers. Just my little joke. How do you like our dip into the gene pool? Extending radula, developing corrosive bile. You'll have an army in no time thanks to your volunteer donor program. Stockman was brilliant. He took the program in directions I never would have imagined. He also took things too far. You were kidnapping aliens and experimenting on them. That wasn't too far? As I said, it was a different time in my life, not one that I'm proud of. Our experiments required dangerous equipment and materials. One day, in his zeal to unlock the secrets of alien life, Stockman accidentally triggered a biochemical chain reaction. No! Stockman! What have you done? It was the last I saw of Baxter Stockman. Bishop, help! <laughs> But in the chaos, something happened. It seemed one of my alien lab rats would finally get his revenge. But instead, he saved my life. An alien. I imprisoned him. Used him to create a race of monsters for war against his kind. And still, he saved me. Try as I might, I could not erase the incident from my mind. If this alien, after everything, could show mercy, how could I dare do less? And so, gradually, my attitude toward these beings changed. I sought out allies instead of enemies. The Earth Protection Force became the Pan-Galactic Alliance. You can understand why I was reluctant to reveal all of this to the world at large. But what matters is, I learned my lesson. It's peace, not war, that is the answer to Earth's continued safety. <laughs> Well, you're about to learn another lesson, Mr. President. If you're going to leave your errand boy for dead, you should make sure that he really is. Baxter Stockman! In the flesh, so to speak. Now, payback time. If it isn't the Turtles, and here I thought Agent Bishop and I were the only ones who survived the good old days. Though you didn't have to graft alien DNA onto your own body in order to pull it off. Stockman! I... I thought you perished in the accident. Yes, that explains why no one came looking for survivors. Ever! So is that it? Simple revenge? Stockman, everything has changed. I'm not the man I once was. Nor will you be the man you are for much longer. You follow that one? Nope. That's crazy brain talk if I ever heard it. Ah! Stockman! What are you doing? I spent decades down here, rebuilding our facility, expanding on our original experiments with the trace DNA left behind. Yet I was unable to create a viable body for myself. Then I realized, why make when I could take? <sighs> In a moment, that underused organ you like to call a brain will be processed and transplanted in favor of a 
a, shall we say, more gifted tenant, <sighs> though the space may be a tad cramped. Stockman, this is madness! No, this is logic. You're the president. You've shown a proclivity for long life, and you have to love the irony. Stockman, you're not going to get away with this! Speaking of irony, it may have taken a hundred years, but it warms my cerebellum to know you four will meet your end as mouser food. I don't think so! It's pizza time! Normally, I'd be fascinated, but honestly, you're just nasty! Stop on this, you overgrown set of dentures! Relax. It's just a brain transplant. Nothing to lose your head over. Bishop's getting a sunroof if we don't get past these things! Any ideas? Remember when the mouser went after the police sirens instead of us? Baxter must be using an audio remote to control them. Maybe they use sonic vibrations to navigate, like other subterranean creatures. And how does that help us not get jumped? If I find the right audio frequency, it should scare them off. Sounds good. Raph, you and Mikey cover Don. I'll try to stop Stockman from renovating Bishop's head. Let's see here. If I can just equalize the tonal frequency... Feel free to take your time, Don! I'm almost there. Stockman, listen to me! No one knows better than we do what a jerk bishop was in the past, but this isn't the answer. Why not? He started all of this. He left me for dead. He owes me. He owed a lot of people, Baxter, but he's been paying it back by changing the world. Bishop's work has actually united people of all races, Earthlings and otherwise. I mean, even we can walk the streets in daylight. Because in Bishop's world, no one's considered a monster based on how they look, only by how they act. Are you a monster or a man? Do you want to use your skills to destroy? Or like Bishop, can you see a way to create something? Okay, I think I got it. You did it! Ow! Yeah, now let's move it! Help me! I'm all right. Get Stockman. Let's get you to safety first, Mr. President! Stockman! I left him behind once. I won't do it again. Go! He really did change, didn't he? Talkman! <laughs> Don't just stand there. Move your shells! Whoa! Hail to the chief! Quick! Down here! You... You saved me! Why? It's what I've been saying all along, my friend. Everything's changed. So, based on your current DNA, I believe it would be possible. Genetic advances over the last century make creating a viable body based on your former physical structure nothing more than a minor procedure. What's the catch? I become your personal slave, toiling away in a secret lab? Actually, the Department of Agriculture is interested in your mousers. I'd like you to meet with them. Me? Really? Well, I suppose it's my civic duty, Mr. President. Say, is there a vice president? I just don't get this place. Bishop's a good guy. We save our arch villain Baxter Stockman from becoming a crispy critter. And giant mousers are gonna work on a farm? 
The future gives me a headache! Well, if Bishop and Baxter can change, maybe there's hope for all the other monsters out there. No monsters? Let's hope it doesn't put us out of a job! Mikey, I got a feeling that's not gonna be a problem.